All right, so we want to find the first four non-zero terms for p of x divided by q of x. And we're told that p of x is equal to this summation here, uh, 2 to the k of x minus 1 to the k over k factorial. And q of x is equal to summation from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the k, x minus 1 to the k, k factorial. All right, so if I were to write out first few terms of each of these things, have when k is 0, you have 1. Um, when k is 1, you have 2 times x minus 1. Then we have um, 2 squared over 2 factorial, so it's just 2 times x minus 1 squared plus um, 2 cubed over 3 factorial, so that's the same as 2 squared over 3, which is just 4 thirds. We have 4 x minus 1 cubed over 3 plus dot, 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 goes on for a long time. Now if we were going to write out the first few terms of q of x, um, we have 1 and then negative 1 to the first power becomes minus, and we have x minus 1 over 1 factorial, so just x minus 1, plus x minus 1 squared over 2, plus, minus x minus 1 cubed over 6, because that's 3 factorial, plus dot 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 goes on for a while. All right, so now r of x is this function, which is these two summations divided by each other. So if we were to write out the first few terms of that, it would look something like d naught plus d1 um, times x minus 1 plus d2 x minus 1 squared plus d3 x minus 1 cubed, dot, dot, dot. So it looks something like that. All right, so another way of writing p of x divided by q of x equals r of x is p of x equal to r of x times q of x. Okay. This problem just got a lot simpler, people. So now what we're going to do is multiply each thing and try to see if we can get it to equal p of x. So I'm going to write it out like this. We have d naught times 1, so we have d naught minus d naught x minus 1 plus d naught over 2 x minus 1 squared minus d naught over 6 x minus 1 cubed plus dot dot dot, that goes on for a while with the d naughts. I'm going on to add d1, oh, that's right. And here we have d1 times x minus 1 times 1. So d1 x minus 1 minus d sub 1 x minus 1 squared plus d1 over 2 x minus 1 cubed minus dot dot dot, okay, plus d2 x minus 1 squared minus d2 x minus 1 cubed plus dot dot dot, and then plus d3 x minus 1 cubed plus dot dot dot, oh, minus, minus dot dot dot. So I only went up to the x minus 1 to the third power because we're looking for the first four non-zero terms. And right now I'm under the assumption none of these will be zero. If we need more terms later, we can add them on. All right, so now let's rewrite this. Move over to this other board here. Looking for p of x. So now we have that's equal to d naught plus, 
Oh, wait, let me rewrite this first so we can match it up. It's a lot easier to see. 1 plus 2x minus 1 plus 2x minus 1 squared plus 4 thirds x minus 1 cubed plus dot, dot, dot. Okay? And we said that this is equal to q of x times r of x. So I'm just going to write those terms here. 50 naught. Plus, now these are the x minus 1 to the first power terms. So we have minus d naught plus d sub 1 times x minus 1. Plus, then we had, these are the x minus 1 squared terms. So we have d naught over 2 minus d sub 1 plus d sub 2 of x minus 1 squared. Plus, this is negative d naught over 6 plus d naught over 2. Oh, just kidding. Plus d1 over 2 uh, minus d0, d2 minus d sub 2 plus d sub 3 times x minus 1 cubed plus dot dot dot. Okay? So now we're going to match up our terms. So 1 has to equal d naught, 2 is negative d naught plus d1, 2 is d naught over 2 minus d1 plus d2, and then 4 thirds is negative d naught over 6 plus d1 over 2 minus d2 plus d3. If we need more, we'll do it. So, so far, d naught equals 1. We now will know what d naught is. That was a toughie. Moving on, 2 equals negative d naught plus d sub 1. I'll unbox this. Okay. But we just said that d naught is 1. That means we have negative 1 plus d sub 1 equals 2. So 3 equals d sub 1. Okay. Now we have 2 equals d naught over 2 minus d1 plus d2. We said d naught is 1, so we have 1 half minus d1, which is 3, plus d2. So 2, if we add 3 and subtract 1 half to 2, we have 5 minus 1 half, that's 9 halves. So we have 9 halves equals d2. And then last but not least, hopefully, we have 4 thirds equals negative d naught over 6 plus d1 over 2 minus d2 plus d3. We have 4 thirds equals negative 1 sixth plus d1 was 3, so negative 3 plus 3 halves. It's positive. Minus 9 halves plus d3. Okay, so 3 halves minus 9 halves, that's negative 6 halves or negative 3. So we have 4 thirds and subtract the negative 3, that makes plus 3. Um, minus becomes plus 1 sixth uh, equals, if you put that over 6, we have 8 over 6 plus 18 over 6 plus 1 over 6. That comes out to 27 over 6, which is just 9 halves. That's what d3 is. Just broke that piece of chalk. Now, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. They're non-zero, thus r of x. we said is equal to p of x over q of x is equal to 1 plus 3 times x minus 1 plus 9 over 2 x minus 1 squared plus 9 over 2 x minus 1 cubed plus dot dot dot. 
there you go.